Hey everyone, how you doing today? I thought I'd do an update on this M18000. I've put in all but one of the main boom sections. It sits right there. I'll explain that. And you can see I did put a couple of the body weights on the on the traveling ballast tray <laughs> to kind of help it out a little bit. Uh, I almost have all of them in. I, like I say, just one boom section left. I'm going to show you how big this thing got. Bearing in mind that I do have 10 foot ceilings. And you can see how low I've got the jib. And, and it's almost there. I, I had to put it down because it just barely makes it by that little shelf. And I had to move the shelf. This thing's, this thing's just too big for in here. If I pulled that jib up, I mean, when it was up, before I lowered it a little bit, the, the thing was rubbing on the ceiling. And see if you can see the little red marks. I can't see them now. Oh, yeah. Those marks are from the boom. The tip hitting the ceiling right there. So I had to lower it a bunch. And I'm going to say if this thing went straight up, anything like even that 1300 or that 1600, I got that boom up that much. As you can see how much angle is on it. I just don't have the room. That's why I laid it down this far so it doesn't hit the fan if I move it. <laughs> so... If you're looking for the biggest and baddest, I don't know. I say this one for better than a ringer, even though the ringers are pretty big and you can make them really big. For a crawler, this thing is ungodly. It's, it's well over 10 foot now. Uh, because the jib was down already and it was rubbing the ceiling. So I'd imagine if I pulled that thing up, it would definitely be every bit of ten and a half feet maybe a little bit more it's got a long way to go up as you can see and uh, second reason I don't put the main boom in is that would definitely hit that I'd have to take that whole shelf down or move the crane somewhere and I'd have to lower the jib a whole bunch more because that would take it be hitting the ceiling again and this thing would probably come closer to 12 foot so you want a big one I say grab this 18,000 and uh, you'll get a big one it's this thing's a, the main boom is almost my height And yeah, I do like this crane a lot. I had some doubts about it at first, but uh, this is the biggest, baddest crane for sure. I, I don't know how that 31,000 would look. I'd have to have it here. But just for your typical crawler, this thing is massive. It's just enormous. Everything about it is bigger from the tires on the traveling ballast to the size and weight of the weights on it to the size of the boom it's it's way bigger than all the rest of the booms here so is the jib it's way bigger that jib's got a bigger diameter than a lot of these main booms here and the detail on this model is extraordinary I, I, like I say I, I really love these Spoke pulleys. They're all over the place. Actually, the these up in here. There's one of them up in here. That has spoke pulley. Can't see it very well, but it is. And just the the common detail, the the hydraulic hoses all over the electrical stuff, the 
the detail in the engine bay and and in the body it, it's just incredible if you love a good model there's no reason not to get this bad boy uh, even on the cab on the back of the cab it has warning signs and little little stickers all over it's just very well done very well done it's got its own problems no brakes on most of the winches uh, no key access that key does not work and in, in the boom or mast winches and no brakes on any of them I've had to stuff styrofoam or or foam in them to kind of lock them in place uh, other than that yeah, like I said they all got their thing but you can see some of the detail in the engine bay here again I keep showing it because there's so much of it it's just an incredibly detailed model right down to the chains and stuff on the crawlers with their little hooks uh, I had this thing out yesterday to put that boom that jib extension on and these crawlers just they are so smooth they just roll the whole way making that little noise these metal ones make and you just gotta love it and I got a little guy there to give some scale to it those crawlers run probably well over six foot the guys fits underneath of them just a lot of nice detail in this model a little expensive and the basic kit is not this big remember the uh, the boom extension kit came with eight boom extensions 640s and 220s and, and that's why this model is as big as it is Without them, it didn't even get to the height of this 650 here. Now you can see the difference in the height now. That 650 sits right there in front of it. And it's just a little tiny toy compared to this thing now. Where when I first put it together, if you look at the review, uh, you can see it's sitting almost where it is. I had it out a little bit, but you could see it was way shorter than that 650 when I put it together in the beginning so find the extension kit first unless you don't mind it being a little short if you want the biggest baddest model you can buy get the extension kit you'll love it and dude I say do these things like they tell you this thing works with all the cross reeving and skipping pulleys and everything it, it works just fine yes you got to have a lot more weight on it to make it work good because it does bind a little bit this is not as free rolling as just reeving but dude it looks really cool right, I'm, I'm gonna do it from now on you can see that one is look at how the wires are all jacked up but if I want to raise or lower that boom it works perfectly perfectly because I had to do that <laughs> I had to mess with the jib and the boom to get it to, so it would fit under that as you can see it's, it's only got a couple of inches I could, could raise that boom that jib a little bit alright guys just wanted to let you see yeah that's my homemade load it's just a spray can with some stuff in the kits glued to it and a big rubber base I drilled a bunch of holes in so it looks like a some kind of big thing that gets put in some job <laughs> like that I made that got a couple of fans on the top I don't know what for it's got some uh, monitors on the side. I don't know what for, but it looks like something that they would put on the top of a building. So 
Yeah, I, I, I'm on a budget. I made that, kinda. I mean, I bought the basic thing and I added a few things. I put my lifting lugs on it and yeah, now it's a load. Okay guys, the big thing was the 18,000. Didn't mean to get off track. Stay safe. I haven't gone out to film any live cranes that are all over the place out here now. We've had a spike here in COVID cases in Arizona, it's, it's almost as bad as Texas and Florida. So yeah, I'm 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 not going anywhere. I've been at home since February anyway. So hang in there. When I can get out and record some, I'll post some more videos. In the meantime, overall take on this 18,000 it is outstanding what a, what a great model big bad well detailed realistic looking it'd be your biggest model thanks guys have a great day stay safe